people, you know who this is. Today I want to talk about maneuvers. Aerial maneuvers, specifically. To see a few of them, you can go up to the menu, Encyclopedia, and over here in Stunts, and there's a couple in Tactics, if I remember. Today we're going to be talking about the Emblemen, and the Split S. Probably might even touch into the Emblemen turn. The Emblemen is a really good place to start. An Emblemen is basically a half loop and a half roll. Um, let's click on the picture here and see. If you want to get higher altitude and also change course, you know, basically flying in a completely 180 degree direction that you were flying before, what you can really do that's really easy is just fly straight and just pull up on the stick. As you're pulling up and you're at the very top, you do a quick roll to make sure you're level again and you're flying in the other direction. You are going to lose some speed as you're climbing, but it's a really efficient way to turn around completely and head back to where you came from. Now why is this? You are losing speed, how can that be you know, very efficient? It's efficient because you can trade height, altitude, for speed. Whenever you're diving down on somebody, you're getting back that speed. You're like, so you could think of altitude as like having a savings bond or a, uh, an account in the bank, right? You're saving money, and whenever you need that money, you can pull it out. Well, you're investing energy as you're gaining altitude. When you dive back down, you can get that energy back. You can get that speed back. That's really the genius of the element turn. It's a very simple maneuver. I mean, whenever you look at like, oh yeah, that makes complete sense. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it manually using your W, A, S, and D keys on your keyboard. These keys allow you to manually control your plane, just like having a joystick. So A and D rolls you, or spins you, left and right. A for left, D for right. W and S is, allows you to pull up or pull down. W pushes you down, and S pulls you up. Here's, um, the actual maneuver looking at it from the top is pulling up and then you roll over and fly straight in the opposite direction and again having that energy in the bank all right let's try an emblemen it's really easy to do i'm gonna pop my acrobatic smoke as you can see there we go so i'm looking forward i'm gonna have to be holding down the s key and moving my mouse to the left or the right to change the, the direction of wh where I'm looking at. So when you release S, War Thunder automatically rolls you over and back to where you came from. Also, um, whenever you're holding the keyboard down, the S key, you can look around, see where enemy is, and then fly towards him. I let go. There you go. Fly in the other direction. See the acrobatic smoke? Let's do it again. Hold down the S key. Spinning my mouse around so I will be pointing to where I came from. Release the, the mouse and your key. And there you go. Flying in the opposite direction. Our enemy is right in front of us, but let's say we don't have enough time to hit him. Well, we have a few options here. Since he's directly behind us, we have a lot of speed, we're at low altitude, why don't we pull an Emelman? S key. Rolling over, pushing the mouse to look where we want to go. Release the key. We're flying down at the enemy. You can press Z to zoom in. And fire. A split S is probably one of the basic maneuvers I use most often. Other than the Emblemen, of course. It's kind of just the reverse of an Emblemen. You pull up a little bit, I mean, if you want to make it look really pretty, you pull up a little bit before you roll your plane, spin your plane, and then you pull up, basically putting you back in a dive now because you're upside down, right? So when you're pulling up, it's going to force your plane towards the ground, towards the earth. And then once you get to the very bottom, you could just, you could just uh, fly straight and level. So why is this a good offensive maneuver? You're going to be trading height for energy. Previously I talked about 
having height as kind of like having money in the bank, right? You're storing this money for a rainy day. Whenever you need that money, you can pull it out of your savings and you can use it ha however you, you need to, right? So when you have height, when you go into a dive, due to gravity, due to, to, to the earth pulling you towards it, you're gaining speed. You don't have to rely on your engine only to gain speed anymore. You're using gravity to help you out. So when you're upside down and you're going towards the ground and you pull up, you not only are you gaining speed at the cost of height or altitude, you're also going to be flying the opposite direction, which is really good to engage an enemy. I'll show you some video now. Split S time. Split S is a really useful move in combat. So what we're going to be using is our A or D key to roll our plane and then the S key. As you can see, when I'm pressing the S key now, it's pulling me up. But when we're inverted, it's going to pull me down. Move the mouse over so we are looking at the direction we want to end up at. There we go. Split S. See? Not too hard, right? Of course, War Thunder automatically rolls your plane around. So, whenever you're doing it again, you have to press the A and D key to roll and and right when you're upside down, then you pull the S key. If I just do it and then let go, well, War Thunder is going to roll me back. So again, I'm going to roll over. Now hit the S key to pull the plane. Look over, release the keyboard keys. You're flying the opposite direction. Look at my speed. Look at all that speed. That is the power of the S split S turn. Let's just say we spot an enemy beneath us. We need to get in his tail really quick. Maybe he's shooting a friendly. What do we do? Split S maneuver. Roll over. While you inverted, press S. Hold it as you're diving down. And you can shoot. Pull out of the dive. You're good to go. Look at all that speed we just gained too. Now we are on the Immelman turn. So what's so special about the Immelman turn? Why can't I just roll over on my side and then pull back and just turn without pulling up. Well, the reason why you want to do this is it gives you a tighter turn using gravity. Gravity's pulling you, and as gravity pulls you towards the ground, and you're on your side, and you're pulling back in the stick, turning, the gravity just basically piles on on top of that. It gives you an additional force, an additional pull. So you can pull into a, a much more tighter turn and just flying straight a level, and just rolling over and turning in a circle like that. When you pull up, you're slowing down a little bit, so that helps you turn right off the bat. But also when you're up here, gravity is really pulling on you now as you're turning and you get into a tighter turn. Also, the re another reason why you would use this over just a regular Immelman is you don't need a height advantage. You have somebody off to your side, right? It could be either side, by the way. It doesn't have to be on your right. But it could be off to your side, and maybe he's uh, shooting your your friend. Maybe you, you're in a ground attack, and you need to take out a target really quickly without you know pulling up, um, doing an Emmelman, and then die, and then trying to relocate the person that you're trying to attack again. Then diving down, you know, you you want to do it in one quick time-saving maneuver. This is the overhead, by the way. So this will save time over a regular Immelman because when you pull up and loop over and and uh, roll off the top, you've lost speed. Even though you, it's a good investment because you you you're putting it in the bank, right? You're you're saving energy by giving yourself height that you can later on use in a dive to regain your speed. You you you're, you're also losing time on targeting and getting closer to the enemy because you're slower. So if you do an Emelman turn, you're pulling up a little bit, but the pulling up part helps with, with uh, turning gravity, tur turns you sharper. So even though you're losing speed up here, you, you're gaining most of it back in a dive, especially if, you're, if you have a plane that, with a really good dive performance um, and good energy retention. In other words, when you're turning, you're not bleeding off a lot of energy. You're not bleeding off speed. You're not losing speed. So if you have a plane with good energy retention as you turn and as you dive, you, you can keep your speed 
uh, when you're turning and as you're diving, you can regain much of the speed that uh, you've you've used pulling up and turning before. So you have your speed again. You're on the same altitude as you were before. Well, generally, you know, in combat is different. Um, you're not you're not doing acrobatics to make it look pretty. You're using it to get on your enemy tail and to save you time. This is a really good maneuver to perform when you're low altitude, because I mean you're not going to be doing a split S and diving down uh, to get a, to to do a 180 to to go where you came from, you know, to turn around. And you're diving down, you might not have enough altitude. You might just crash into the ground. Uh, if you're finding yourself doing that a lot, uh, go with this turn first. <laughs> All right, let's go to the video. All right, check this out. I have a lot of speed. I don't need to be Pulling an Emmelman to reverse my course. All I have to do is the Emmelman turn. Pull up a little bit. Start rolling your plane as you roll over. Look, gravity's pulling me down into a tighter turn. Release into a dive. That is how you do it, people. We have an enemy off to our side. What do we do? We do Emmelman turn. Pull up a little bit. Roll. Keep turning. Oh look, gravity is helping us turn. There we go. Perfect lineup. All right, so let's use what we've learned, shall we? Flying in tier one ranked battle. Already from the start, what we want to do is do a slow climb. Why do you want to do a slow climb? Well, you don't want to get to the enemy first. You don't want to be the first guy in. Um, everybody's going to focus their fire on you, the enemy is, and it's not going to turn out too well. So we're going to climb a little bit more. As we're climbing, we're slowing down, but remember what I said earlier, you can trade energy, you can trade speed for height, altitude. You're investing that energy. Look, there's a guy below us. We're gonna roll over, do a split S, and bear down in on him. Now, remember, we're not doing acrobatics for a crowd here, right? So, everything doesn't have to be perfect. You know, you don't have to do a perfect split S. Perfect implement turn. Make it look really nice and pretty. You, you, you just want to do at least the first half or three quarters of, of everything. By the way, I'm gonna do an implement. To return to the battlefield, I wasn't able to get to him in time, but uh, my teammates took care of the problem for me, didn't they? So, we're not doing perfect aerobatics here, so it doesn't have to look really nice and pretty. As long as you do most of the maneuver, you'll get most of the benefit, right? So, for example, this guy is flying to my right. I'm going to do a split S on him, but since he's not going in an opposite direction of me, halfway through I'm going to turn and just go in the direction that he is. Now I'm able to get some shots on him and kill. Do an Emmelman to use all that speed and invest it into height. Also to not fly straight into the enemy's grip. You want to stay above our teammates. Do another Elmerman. Again, invest that energy into altitude. That way we can later on turn it into speed back again. Now if you notice, I did lose a lot of speed. So I'm trying to regain it back as I'm looking around on the battlefield to see what's going on. There's a PBY up high up. High up, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I can't can't talk. Probably need some help. Let's do Emelman turn. To get over. That, I don't know what that was. <laughs> you know, point point up. Push over, turn around. You can even combine things. See look, I'm not gonna be able to get them. What am I gonna do? Split S, low altitude split S, but I know I have the altitude to do it. Now look at my speed. I am zooming in on them, bearing down. 
I know he's mine now. There you go, that's how you do it. Pull him into reverse. We want to get away from him, right? So we want to pick up our speed in the dive. Pull up to not get ourselves killed. You can even use uh, terrain to your advantage. Here we go. He already pulled off. Flying low is good. You just don't want to be low and slow, right? If you're low and slow, you're not going to have options. You're not going to be able to run away from anything. That guy looks like he has that, that uh, kill sealed. I'm not going to steal his kill. But we are going to fly into this BB-1. I'm going to set myself up so I can probably do an element turn if he keeps going to my left. No, he... He started going forward, so we're just going to do a regular turn over to him. He's trying to bomb our base. So we're going to go into a dive. Notice I'm not directly on his tail because I want to keep some room between me and, and my friends over there so then I won't be in their line of fire. As he's turning, then I can zoom in and shoot. Element turn to reverse and go into this TBR. Woman to fly up. I oh, thought was going to crash, but I think he. No? Yeah, he did. Okay. Alright. I showed you two ways to turn around. So we're getting altitude here. We can start turning to go back into the fray. Slight climb. We don't want to lose too much speed. We are really far away, but we do want to gain a little bit of altitude, so we will have some options. Altitude equals options. And he's down. <laughs> so we're a little bit too far away to pick our targets yet. We don't know um, who, you know, for example, who our team is going to kill before we get there. And we don't know. Um, which one of our friends needs our support, our cover. Uh, he needs everybody's cover right now because the whole team's after him. Although we have an I-15 coming in. Juice the target, but he's not trying to kill. So what are we going to do? Split S. Dive down. On these players. He passed us. Him in because it can sacrifice some speed. Home in turn and into a dive to get down on this F2A. A little bit too far to shoot, but I'm just trying to get everybody off his tail. No, he didn't get off his tail. Okay. I knew that was going to be an easy kill right there, so... Yeah, if somebody's chasing you, somebody's on your tail, don't pull up into an Immelman because you're going to make yourself an easy target. You're slowing down. You're giving them more time to get on your tail. To catch up to you, basically, right? And once they do... Immelman, by the way, to turn around. Although, he didn't turn back on me. Going this way, yes. A moment turn. Where is he gonna pop out? Where is he gonna pop out? There he is. Lit him on fire. Pull up a little bit to not get in the way of our teammate.
climbing is a good idea. Oh, unless you're getting shot at. <laughs> then you want to do some evasive maneuvers and dive down. You could probably outspeed him, as we did. I'm only turning because I noticed that uh, he broke off his attack on me. Himmelman, although it's not too easy because my plane is damaged. I'm gonna barrel roll here. Well, not a barrel roll, but a yo-yo, I guess you would say. Rather. Trying to give give time for my teammate to shoot him down. Well, no, he's not. He's not trying to shoot him down. Shoot. <laughs> so just try to close in, pick up some speed. Fly as straight as possible to outspeed him. Do a little jinking here and there to dive his shots. So he's using a lot of tracer ammunition and on that plane their tracers use um, incendiary so if he just hits me with one of those and catches me on fire that'll be it. My plane's too damaged to survive fire right now. He should be over here. No, somebody shot him down. Okay. If you notice, my engine is red. So if I pull off a little bit on the throttle using the control key, I can save it and fly back to base, hopefully, to land and repair. Oh, okay, I got some lag there, some video lag. Uh, <laughs> guess my computer is starting to, to wonder, why is, he, why is he taking so long to kill anything? He's trying to tell me to get back into the action. But I do need to land if I can. Although, if I have to, I can kill these guys. I think I'm going to have to. I don't think I'm, they're going to allow me to land. Alright, turn into him. There we go. Dodge most of his attacks. Speed him so what I'm gonna do try to get into his scissors with him if I can. There we go. Here we go. My engine's out though. Oh no it's not. I can't really climb though, my engine's so damaged. Yeah, I'm down. go again. We have a fresh plane. He is chasing that MiG, so let's turn to face this way. And we have some options here. He's climbing up a little bit slower. Go into a shallow dive, pick up some speed. Oh. I got Punisher War, so apparently there were some rank 2 planes in there. I can't remember if I faced off against any of them, though. Alright. Did you get some new cannons? That's always nice. Start researching that cover. So, I only got six kills and one death. I was just trying to use the basic, most essential maneuvers, aerial maneuvers, as possible to not complicate things and to show that if you just implement these three reverse turns into your your, your, your flight tactics, let's say, um, you can get a lot of kills. You can you can improve yourself. I wasn't you know doing anything special. Towards the end, you know, defensively, I was trying to do uh, cross scissors, a um, little bit of barrel roll. Uh, those are defensive measures, and I think I'm gonna 
split off defensive measures defensive measures into a different video, especially when I learn how to pronounce things properly <laughs> in the future. Anyway, I'm Tofu Ace. Thank you for watching. Later.